What's good, YouTube, man? Y'all already know it's your boy, Trucker Dean. Back at y'all one more time, man. Listen, I always do stuff when I'm on vacation, man. You guys know this. I know for all the haters, y'all come on in and hate and tell me all different stuff of why I do stuff on vacation instead of in the truck. Blah, 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 blah. It doesn't matter. I earned this, so I deserve to do this. Without that being said, I'm trying to show you how I earned this. Many ways to get your money together. There's many ways and many different trunk companies, but I can tell you about the one that helped me. I can tell you exactly what I did and you can jump on the same boat. Or you can just go in the comments and rant because I'm doing this on vacation instead of my truck. Hopefully, you just get the information and do what it is, just go do with it. Um, but anyway, I run for Hirschback. I also own my own truck and my own trailer as well, but I earned a lot of these vacations away before I had my own truck and own trailer. I got one owned outright and one of them I'll be finished with in less than 30 days or something like that. So I have two trucks. I got one trailer and I'm um, finna purchase this other trailer, whatever. But I basically started with Hirschback, man. I had nothing, absolutely not one dime. I came from Trans Am, and I had enough. I came back, I think, after being out 30 days at a time, I ended up coming home with enough to maybe buy my wife some Burger King and, and able to get home. Other than that, I had nothing. Um, right now, I'm in Puerto Rico, just to let you guys know where I'm at. But anyway, back to the subject at hand is, I came from, um, I started with Hirschback with nothing, you know, um, and now I've earned uh, two trucks, basically. So, you guys do the same thing. Um, we have, they have a bumper to bumper maintenance, 99 cent fuel. 99 cent fuel is basically, it costs you 99 cent fuel. The same fuel we could have cost you in a regular lease purchase or someone else, somewhere else to be maybe 1200 bucks a week for fuel, 12 to 1500 bucks a week for fuel, somewhere up in there. Over here is like 450, 500 bucks. That's the first thing that really, really make a major difference um, with Hirschback lease versus other leases. Oh, someone's on me, sorry guys. Um, another thing, they got the bump to bump maintenance program, so you gotta worry about breakdowns or not getting paid if your truck is down. You know, you get $250 every single day that truck's not running after the first 24 hours. Um, Cause of course you gotta give them time to fix it. Uh, or they'll rent you a Penske on the spot. Um, we also, it's not forced dispatch. Um, well, I'll put this away. I would say it's not 100% forced dispatch, because of course we gotta go where the freight is. Um, it's basically what over here, man, you come in, you don't have to have no credit check, they build your LLC and everything for you. If you can run your clock right, know how to run your clock right, and know how to make sense of the load. What I mean by make sense of the load, if you see a load, they're going to send you a load, and you can reject it, or you can keep it, or whatever, or you can tell them what you like or what you don't like about it. So when you get a load, if you see a load has five days on it, and ain't going but six, seven hundred miles, then, of course, that's common sense to tell you not to take that load, because it's, it's not doesn't accrue to the money. They have plenty of loads. They probably won't be like that. I'm just giving you an example. Um... Uh, we run, I, I stay out, normally I stay out like three weeks, I'm home like three to four days at a time, you know what I mean? I get a little more lamp now because I've actually, you know, built my cloud up a little bit and I built my money up and stuff like that so I can kind of be a little more on the lazy side, be honest with you. But when I came here, I was absolutely hungry and I was actually on my grind and I also was also a good saver. So those two play a major part. Um, being, wanting to run, wanting to get your money and also having a save game. No matter where you go, that's gonna play a major part in getting to your successful spot where you wanna be at. Um, but with that being said, uh, we have uh, Freightliners, T680s, and Internationals. The whole fleet is trying to switch to Freightliners right now. You know what I mean? Hopefully, um, you'll be able to get a brand new Freightliner. If not, then whatever you do get, more than likely you're gonna have a Freightliner once the new trucks come in. Um, hold on one second, guys. My bad about the intermission. Um, but like I say, uh, we start like three weeks. Uh, I start like three weeks. I'm home like three or four days. Uh, I do about eighteen hundred to a couple grand every week. Your average between sixteen and two grand. I say sixteen and two grand because that just give you a good quota uh, in range. You'll hit the two grand mark a lot, but you'll average about eighteen, nineteen hundred on every week. Right now we have a four thousand dollars sign on bonus. I don't know how long that's gonna last, um, but. You get a uh, you get four grand. You get a thousand dollars when you first come in. In thirty days you get a thousand more, and then sixty days you get a thousand. Ninety days you get a thousand, like that. It was one thousand come in and three hundred every week for ten weeks, but they changed it. A guy told me that they changed it, so I wanted to update you guys on that as well. So that that's that's uh, coming in as well. You have no truck note the first first week. Some people say it's two, but when I came in, it was a week, and I can only vouch for a week myself. So I say a week, and it probably is two, but I'm just saying a week because that's what I've done. Oh, excuse me. Um, it's pretty much it's an all around good company. They treat you with respect. You know what I mean? They don't disrespect you, you know, as uh, far as treating you any kind of way. 
you can negotiate your lows. Like if you um if you don't like a certain place, like for instance, not for this place. So I'll just give you an example. I don't like going to New York City. So if they see me something going to New York City, if the, the miles and the, and the money makes sense, then I'll probably take it, but I won't go. I'll tell them I'll take it on certain terms. Like I'll be basically be like, can I take it to the door and let a local driver, because they got local drivers who will, local driver come out and get it, because I don't want to go in the city. Or can I take it to one of our drop yards and out of skirts, you know, to where I can go and get off the load. If they agree to that, then I'll agree to it too. If not, then I will basically say, uh, give me something different, which I'll tell you, get something different. Also, it's a walk away lease. So at any point in time that you feel like you got your money up and you want to do something different, you can, there's always a walk away lease so you can actually walk away at any, at any time. Um, and uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. There's a few more things, man, but you know, like I said, my mind's kind of split a little bit because I'm actually on vacation. Now my wife's going to be out here, uh, cussing me out in a minute because she told me no working and no, you know, getting into my work stuff and all that while we're on vacation, but Hey, I can't help it, man. I got to let you guys know what's going on, how I get there, where I'm coming from, and letting you know that you can do the same thing. Like I say, some people will get the message. Some people will actually follow the steps. Some people will get where they need to be. Some people are going to be assholes and want to worry about what I'm doing, per se, just my success versus trying to gain the success, and they're going to stay stuff in the comments. Either way, man, I put the message out here, man. For y'all that want to grab on, man, grab on, bro. Like, my numbers out here is always out here. It's 850-382-8397, 850-382-8397. I drive a Hirsch back. It's kind of letting you guys know where I come from and where I'm going and, and, and give you a route. Also, if you guys don't want to continue driving them, you can actually come home, run about seven, eight months, maybe a year strong, save your money up the whole time and go out and buy your truck. There's so many different formulas, man, that you guys can take. I'm just kind of giving you the word. It's up to you to grab it, you know, and run with it. Um, so... Like I said, with that being said, man, I'm going to get back to my vacation, man. I'm Trucker Dean, man. A lot of you guys know who I am. The ones that subscribe, man, I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys, the ones that haven't, man. I'm here. I'll try to help you if I can. As um, long as you're serious about trying to do something, I'm here. My, my phone's wide open, man. Um, yeah, but with that being said, man, I appreciate you guys like taking the time to listen to me, man. And Yeah, and that's it, man. Listen, come get some money, man. Come fill your bucket up, man. Um, don't beat yourself. Like I say, don't beat yourself. Treat yourself, man. If the company's not doing you right, wherever you at, Trans Am, CR England, any of them companies that's, that's bullshitting you, man, get you six months, man, and call me, bro. Call me and I'll get you on. If you got less than six months and you have issues, let me know before you put the application in and maybe I can sugarcoat the application. Um, but until then, um, I guess I'll be seeing you guys later. And uh, appreciate you. Tell them, hey, babe. That's right. That's right. Peace.